Once upon a time, there was a kingdom. In this kingdom ruled the kindest king who ever existed. The king had a daughter. She was the kindest and most beautiful woman in all the kingdom. Both of them were, undoubtedly, the most beloved people in all the land. One day, war broke out. Worried, the princess made an agreement with the enemy kingdom. If, and only if, she compromised and married the son of the other king, the war would end. Her father, the king, and all the kingdom were opposed to this agreement. But to avoid war, death, and hatred, they finally accepted. Since the princess insisted on it, they weren't going to let anyone die. So she married the prince. After this followed peaceful days, but suddenly the princess was brutally assassinated. The king of the enemy kingdom accused the princess of having cheated on her husband, the, his son, with another man. The father of the princess didn't believe that this could be true. In the end, war broke out again. The whole time, the prince, who was a calm and generous person, watched over the princess in her place of rest. Suddenly, he noticed that her tomb had begun to change shape. Slowly, it began to transform into a tree. It was at that moment that the prince realized that the soul of the princess was still alive. And so, the prince, who really loved her passionately, promised that he was going to put an end to this senseless war. Slowly, the tree transformed into a cherry tree, and when the prince died in that same war, the cherry tree began to drop its flowers. Both kingdoms could see that in reality, the princess was crying. Thanks to the sacrifice of the prince, the war ended. It was only then, when the war came to its end, that both kingdoms united into one forever. Even now, she continues crying for the man who loved her and who granted her wish. So, is that how it ends? Naturally. But, but the princess knew that the prince loved her, right? So, she fell in love with someone else? That was just an accusation on the part of the enemy king. He said that, it's said that the prince was a cold person who never showed his feelings to anyone. And it wasn't until after the war ended that thanks to his death, that she realized. What, what happened with the kings? Both fathers came to an agreement after what had happened. Both of them were embarrassed and saddened by what had taken place. Because thanks to a senseless discussion, the people most precious to them were no longer with them. In the end, both kingdoms prospered as one. But even so, the soul of the princess never found peace. So even today, there is a cherry tree that has been flowering without stopping since olden times. Hmm. What a sad story. It's just a story. It's only fiction. It's never been shown to have happened in reality. Well, like you promised, go to bed now, and maybe tomorrow I'll tell you another one. Okay. Don't be sad. I wouldn't have told you if I'd known it was going to make you sad. <sighs> I'm all right, really, it's just, I'm thinking about it. It was a good story. Really, I'm fine. Go to sleep now. What about you, Kazuki? Aren't you going to go to sleep? Not yet. Sleep enough for the both of us, all right? Okay. Good night.
Sleep well. Uh, this isn't good. I want to sleep, but that story. Plus, the stars must look beautiful tonight. I don't want to complain, but how come he never lets me see the stars? Well, good night. Why? Why am I alone? Alone in this place? I hate it. I detest it. All, all of you. I hate all of you. Never, 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 never. I will never forgive you. Never. <gasps> huh? Uh, I had a nightmare? It's still not morning yet? Hmm. Hmm. Where is Kazuki? Que misteriosa. Huh? What are you doing here? Uh, um, I had a nightmare. A nightmare? Are you alright? Yes, it, it just scared me a little bit. But now that I saw you, I feel better. It's bad enough when you have a nightmare and there's nobody around when you wake up. To show that you've woken up. Because you really don't know if you... I get it. Um... Why don't you stay here, with me, until you calm down? Huh, R really? I can? Of course. To tell you the truth, I'm... When I'm alone, it, it, it wouldn't be bad to have a little bit of company. Okay. Oh, Kazuki, did he bring me back here? How embarrassing. Just for a stupid dream. Kazuki, donde estas? Hmm. All right, well, join us next time on Time Traveler when we will figure out where Kazuki went. <laughs>